All right. Hey, everybody. This is Parrish. It's time for a, uh, another video coach on demand where we're talking about instruction. Uh, this is skill sets, not emotions or pep rally type stuff. We do talk about emotions, but we're talking about being smart about our emotions. So um, what we're going to talk about today is the chatter. Uh, great clips here, man. I'm really excited. I, I pulled these up out of our learning aids. I use these in my workshop. Two clips, actually. One from the Navy SEALs, and uh, then another one is from The Zone. Uh, actually, it's from the Navy. It's the same movie, but it's from a clip called The Zone. We all know The Zone. Uh, when We're just at our peak, right? Which we now know. Uh, we're going to look at science. Um, lesson objective. Develop emotional intelligence skill sets. So we're staying on track with, uh, um, we've talked about it a thousand times already. Here's the emotional intelligence skill sets based from Goldman, been around for 20 some years. Okay. So the way we're going to build those skill sets is we're going to use some of my custom tools, recognizing the chatter. All right. Chatter, which is what we call psycholinguistics, language, mind, language of the mind. Okay, a little bit uh, technical there for me. So uh, I use the word chatter. I actually wrote a book about it. Um, and we're going to pull that up. Yeah, here we go. Just wanted to focus on one thing, and we're going to watch this video. Uh, I went to actually the introduction and um, highlighted a couple of things. We've got new technology, and it's got new truths. You know, I mean, it's a paradigm changer. That's what you call it. It, it's the, it changes the way we think. And what we're talking about is the way we think about thoughts, emotions, and behavior. Um, before, this was kind of a mystical thing, behavior, you know, sports and athletics. But we now know that there's a serious connection. And this is the new science right here. Every mental book that's out there, if it connects you to the emotional channels, I'm sure it was a worthy book. If it did not connect you to the emotional channels, well, it's, it's still sitting on the shelf. <laughs> because that's the key. That's the new science as we're trying to teach here. You know, we have a, a mental economy. It's no more just a physical economy, you know. And what that simply means is it's how smart you can be on demand in the moment when the pressure occurs, okay. In comparison to physical strength and conditioning, mental training is very similar. And that's what we're here to talk about. Uh, in the 80s, which, I mean, I have a wonderful clip on the Hulk, right? Back in the 80s, we took the mind, or excuse me, we took the body into the weight room. Today, today, we take the mind into the weight room. Now, watch this clip. This is one of our learning aids in the class. Under normal conditions, the brain communicates with the body using minute electrical signals. The brain sends out electrical impulses from its nerve cells to others that travel at over 270 miles per hour. Critical. This is one way your brain can tell your body to do something. It's the shatter. Okay. But under extreme duress, the brain releases chemical hormones. The part of the brain that senses fear, the amygdala, triggers a chain reaction that sends adrenaline and cortisol hormones. Okay. That that okay, so when the chatter is running, right? If you're following that, if you just heard what he was saying there, so basically what we've got here is your chat is running. Now, obviously, you know, the prefrontal cortex is what we talk about where the, the voice box and, you know, we don't get into that. So let's just keep it simple in a very elementary way of teaching, say that the brain here has chatter. And it's this chatter that sets off the amygdala. The amygdala, as we're now learning like never before, sends off these signals. And so that's, that's how we're, we're helping one understand and teach that you have responsibility here. Unregulated chatter will hurt you. It sends adrenaline and cortisol hormones into the body's bloodstream. These stress hormones act as a SWAT team, quickly preparing the body for action. They increase breathing heart rate and blood pressure okay hold up all right a couple of things here one amen right department of defense navy seals leading the charge this is an experimental study right here um groundbreaking stuff that's only a few years uh young so um what we're saying here is we can learn from them um, with the most humblest initiative here to, to take their training techniques we can now adapt these into ours and what we're learning about is fear and panic, blood pressure. breathing, heart rate, blood pressure. These are all the signs that you need to be in tune with, self-aware of, and in fact can self-regulate. 
senses become keener, memory sharper, and the body becomes less sensitive to pain. Body less sensitive to pain, you know, adrenaline. Now here's the other one. Okay, when he talks about controlling his breath, okay, what what you must understand there is he's regulating his chatter. All he's doing is he's regulating his chatter to focus on his breathing. As a result, what he says here, his senses and everything becomes stronger. Listen to this young buck talk. senses are working the best they could possibly work experts think the brain gets so focused it's somehow able to block or ignore any irrelevant input okay when the brain gets so focused that's what we're talking about when we talk about regulating your chatter the words in the middle pictures that are flashing in your head when you're regulating those that means that you're able to one stay focused on the inside and then the external stuff sight sound taste touch and smell all that stuff is able to just kind of be blocked out if you will brain and body begin working in perfect sync all right, perfect sync from a clinical standpoint simply means optimal performance. Optimal means that you've got enough stress hormones in your system for the time of the task, whatever your task is. If you're putting, you want a low level volume. You know, if you're going up against a seven foot, 350 pound lounge packer, then you, you know, you're going to want to turn it up a wee bit. You know what I'm saying? Athletes and everybody else for that matter all want to be in that zone. And there's something special about it. Everything gets aimed at the one task at hand. And when you do that, incredible things can happen. You have a real clarity of thought and decision making. When I'm in that moment. Real clarity of thought and decision making. That's it. That's the perk. Coach pulls me aside and says, hey, what's the ultimate benefit here? Am my kids going to play better? You're going to be able to make better decisions under pressure. Everything around me is so that I can control what I'm thinking. I can control what I look at. I can control what thoughts enter my mind. And in turn, that, that gives me the... When he talks about what controlling what thoughts in his mind, he's talking about his chatter and his ability to regulate that. So what we've done, again, is an instructional program here, and we've developed uh, ways that you can understand, but now also teach, okay? These videos are up on the website. Uh, you can take a look at those. Let's, let's actually just go over the lesson plan here. I want to get into this so we can uh, really transfer some skills, because that's what we're doing. You know, the knowledge and the skills and the ability adult learning most of us know some things but in the clutch we fail to show the ability the gap that we're trying to bridge is skills you need skill sets and here they are so we're learning to recognize the chatter during daily routines that's important daily routines recognizing the chatter by developing self-awareness you can develop the critical building block for the regulation skill which is focus in other words, you got to first develop self-awareness of the chatter before you can regulate it. <laughs> I mean, it sounds elementary and simple, and it is, uh, but the skill sets, this is what we're trying to apply here in the daily. So here's what you need to know and understand. You, your chatter, running unregulated. It's doing this. Your chatter is running unregulated. It's a normal. Whenever I meet someone, whenever you meet someone, you must assume they are emotionally unintelligent. And they don't have a clue what's going on, right? Because everything from the media, you know, our emotions overwhelm us. They're changing all the time. Events from our past are seared into the brain, you know. So it's, oh, you got a lot to deal with. So unregulated chatter, you must know and understand, is basically what you're getting. So you need to work some skill sets up here. Your chatter must be regulated. And the way you regulate it is you towards your goals. And you're doing it on two agendas that we teach. You're reviewing and previewing. You know, that's visualization and, you know, when you catch yourself rewinding and there's, there's a lot of skills here. That's what you need to understand. And that's, again, we're, we're consistent with every video coach on demand thus far. These are the same two skill sets. You must develop these skill sets, self-awareness. And we talk about what that is. You must learn to monitor your chatter. That's what we're referencing here. It's the frequent thoughts, the frequent words and mental pictures. We even give you a framework here. We come over to the six cylinders and we say, look, all of your thoughts... You know, all of your self-talk, which is basically right under self-concept, all of your self-talk is going to fall into any one of these six categories. 
So you, you, you're regulating it just by being able to say, okay, well, I'm at work and uh, I really should be thinking about work. My chatter should be at the now, but it keep popping up with family or vice versa. You're with the family and you keep thinking about work. So, you know, we, we teach it from a chatter's perspective and the skill set is self-regulation. You got that filtering your chatter. I suggest to you that we, we use the maturity metrics. If you're going to filter your chatter, um, here's where most of us are hanging out. We're not going to share information. We're going to withhold it. We're going to struggle with basics. We're going to be critical of ourselves and others. We're going to have disunity inside of us, so we're going to promote it around us. You know people like this, right? You, you, you can rec- What you want to recognize when you see these behaviors is that you got people that are not regulating their chatter very well, right? What we want to do is we want to regulate to get over into the maturity side where we are sharing Sharing what we know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know, we seek understanding. You've got to do that in your chatter first, and you do it with a regulated skill set. you got to seek evaluation versus beating people up with being so critical. So, again, you, you use this guideline to regulate your chatter, okay? And in the end, here's what you must be able to do is take your thoughts, your chatter, captive. Anytime throughout the day, specifically if you're competitive or any kind of competition, you got to be able to do it on demand. I'm going to type that in there right there on demand, right? I mean, on demand, that's the name of the game. And then you need to be able to place them somewhere or shift it, which is where we go. You know, when we teach regulation, we teach about a mental menu list. So, um, but the point is when you find the bad stuff on the bad stuff, um, you got to be able to. I just don't know why I'm doing that. I beg your pardon. Um, Regulate it. That's the bottom line. So then take your thoughts, regulating repetitive thoughts to stay focused on the immediate now. You know, again, using your two skills. Um, The emotional wad, the EWAD of the day, if you will, prioritize. Uh, Use uh, this module right here, module number two. And what you want to do is you want to prioritize these and you're already stepping stone. Um, starting to regulate your thoughts in the right direction. And you're doing even more so. You're looking at self-motivation, which is the hardest one uh, to teach. But that's what the uh, one of the advantages of that particular module is. So, um, again, prioritize them. Use those six. What you're building is one, two, and three in the UQ model. And then uh, your second step is to teach someone to do the same thing. Uh, help them with the skill set of uh, self-motivation and uh, what you're doing there in applied learning is um, skill sets four and five in the social domain. Now, all right, I hope all that makes sense. Hope you enjoyed those videos. Killer stuff, huh? Game changer. It's all about thoughts and regulating the chatter. Thanks. This is PT signing off. God bless.